What's going on traders? Corey Smith here, CoreFX, bringing you guys another trading video. Um, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whatever time it is right now you guys are watching this. I appreciate you taking the time to tune in and check out this video. Corey Smith here from CoreFX, professional Forex trader and coach. Wanted to do a pretty important video here for you guys. Please stay tuned till the end. I really want you guys to get this point I'm trying to get across this is for any trader to be able to understand from a beginning person that just started trading to somebody who's been trading for decades. Um, this is a very important concept that I don't think people understand enough. I don't think it's talked about enough. I don't think it's gone over enough. I don't think enough traders uh, really understand this concept. And really, it's just going to be an overall truth about what you need to focus on and worry about as a trader and what really matters, right? So um, obviously, there's millions of information out there, all kinds of different websites, all kinds of different tools, all kinds of different charts, all kinds of different indicators and people to learn from, strategies to trade, everything. Um, but I want to try to focus your guys' mindset and attention and time on what actually matters, right? So um, what I want to do with you guys here is go over, you know, what traders think is important first, what is taught to be important, what's out there that's emphasized, and then um, what really is the important parts, right? So what all traders think is important is the stuff that you'll find in any trading textbook you find anywhere in the world, right? You, you can go to uh, a bookstore, you can go to Amazon, you can go online, you can go to YouTube pages, you can go to Baby Pips, you can go anywhere as you want with Forex information. And what you're going to find is the same stuff, right? You're going to find technical analysis. You're going to find um, price action. You're going to find support and resistance levels, trend lines, Fibonacci, Elliott Wave, um, market structure, traditional candlestick charts, candlestick patterns, bar charts, bar chart patterns. Uh, really, you name it. The whole run of the mill. You've got every kind of different technical analysis tool out there, right? And this is what a lot of traders focus on. And this is a very important part of trading. It's something I spend a lot of time in my course going over with traders and a lot of time with everyone that I've taught trading on. But people get too sidetracked. People get too overwhelmed and, and overthinking and dive into all these technical analysis tools and think that they have to master trend line, support resistance, Fibonacci, candlesticks, chart patterns, all of this. They have to master it better than everybody else. They have to be able to read that chart pattern and identify those candlesticks better than anybody who's ever looked at a chart before to succeed. Um, the truth of it is that's, that's the farthest thing from the truth. Anybody can see what a bearish or bullish engulfing pattern is, learn it, and then go find them on the charts. Anybody can see what a Fibonacci retracement level is, learn how to apply the tool, and see it on the charts. Right? Um, and if you've been trading at all, you'll realize that the best support and resistance set up with the best trend line, the best Fibonacci tool, candlestick pattern, chart pattern, 18 indicators, everything lines up and the trade goes right against you and stops you out. Time and time again, right? You have the best setup, the most perfect technical analysis setup imaginable. Goes right against you. Happens time and time again. And you go out and you continue to just find these trading setups that aren't following any exact routine, but they're the highest probability, right? They've got the most technical analysis tools in its direction. They've got the most things in your favor. So you think the odds are in my side. It has to be the best setup. It has to win and then it loses, right? So um, this is where people kind of get a little bit confused, a little bit sidetracked. And they think if they spend all their time learning technical analysis and becoming the best support and resistance trader there ever was that they're going to, you know, succeed at trading. And then you've got the indicators, right? Indicators and more indicators. You've got the people that just think, I need as many indicators as possible because trading has to be very difficult if only 5% of people succeed. And for it to be very difficult, you must have 9,000 indicators at once that you don't know what half of them are doing, but you're trying to figure it out. And they all have to be pointing in the same direction. They all have to tell you right now is the right time to buy. I have to buy right now because 19,000 MACD, RSI, Parabolic, SAR, and moving averages told me to do so. Um, another false thing that traders don't realize. I'm not saying there's not a use to indicators there. 1,000% is. Indicators have a very, very good use in trading. And there's all kinds of indicators and they're all equally good. It depends on how you use them, but they're all equally good. All indicators can be good. 
15 indicators on your screen at once, not good. Indicators in general, finding the right ones that work, that fit you, that fit your strategy, great, 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 great. Highly recommend another thing I teach a lot. But a lot of people think that, again, indicators and technical analysis is the end game. They learn all these indicators and they're going to make it. They spent all this time and all these years. I've done it myself. That's why I'm trying to help you guys learning all these things to then find out their junk, right? On their own or just randomly trading with them, nothing works. Trading is the most unpredictable, unreliable, relentless, volatile force there is. The markets are a wild animal and there's not a human being on planet Earth that can tame it for sure or they would run the planet with all the money they'd have, right? So um, indicators, technical analysis, useful, useful, useful tools, but over relied on, overstudied, overemphasized, and then just really people just spend too much time and effort on it. And then you got the pot of gold, right? That, that golden thing that everyone's searching for in trading that everybody thinks I find this one thing and I've got it. I figured it out. Once I find this one indicator, or this one strategy, or this one trader, or this one signal room, or this one chat room, or this one anything, that's it. That's the answer. I'm set for the rest of my life. I figured out trading. I learned it. I'm good. See you later. Sayonara. Bye bye. Doesn't exist. There is no pot of gold. There is no leprechaun at the end of the rainbow. There is no secret answer. There is no anything. There's no secret to trading. None. Zero. Zilch. Whoever told you there is, wrong. Whoever says they have the best strategy, wrong. Whoever says they have the only strategy you ever need, wrong. I don't care what they say. I don't care what they do. I've talked to and met with and experienced with thousands of traders around the world and I've not yet come across one who this has been true with. It's been the same with every trader I've met. Right, so stop searching for that golden egg. Stop searching for that pot of gold. Stop searching for that uh, you know, pot at the end of the rainbow. It, it doesn't exist. Right? I'm going to show you guys what really does matter. Okay, So what really does matter when it comes to trading? Again, these technical indicators, they're all useful. Don't think I'm bashing technical analysis. I am a technical analyst. That's not what I'm doing. I just want you guys to focus on what matters. Stop spending all this time and energy on the things that don't matter. Put on your blinders, zone in on what matters, and you will change your trading, right? You will definitely change your trading. What matters? Being systematic and disciplined trader. I don't care what technical analysis you use or what indicators you use. The way my course is laid out, I teach a shit ton of them both. You pick and choose what you want to use. You put a system together. You test that system and you use it. I have sample systems. I have sample strategies. I have technical analysis to the T, to the max, 50 plus hours of it. But what matters is that you build a system and you have the discipline to follow it, right? So I know this sounds redundant, but this is what you need to focus on, guys. You need to be systematic as a trader. Support resistance lines, never going to be the answer to everything, right? They're always going to fail. That perfect support line that, that price has respected 19 times in the last eight years, it's right on the magical psychological number and Fibonacci's 50%. There's a beautiful engulfing candle pattern on it, bullish engulfing, rejecting the level. Oh my God, it's the greatest ever, and the boom, price breaks right through that support resistance line. Candlestick patterns fail in and out. Trend lines get broken day in and day out. Structure is messy and all over the place. All this stuff is sporadic, it's in the inconsistent. What you need to do is find consistency. Put a set of rules together. Make a plan. Identify exactly what you want to look for and trade that day in, day out, up and down, in and out, the same over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Have the discipline to follow a system. The only people that make it in trading are the disciplined systematic traders. That's why I've met so many pilots that are unbelievable traders. They are systematic and disciplined. They have their checklist, their routine. They do every single flight, every single takeoff, every single landing, every time. The same things, systematic approach to everything. Engineers, awesome at trading. They're very disciplined. They're very systematic. They're very rule-oriented, right? These kind of professions translate great into trading because you need to be a robot. The only way to successfully trade is to be systematic, disciplined, and routine. You follow the same routine. You follow the same structure. You follow it over and over and over and over and over. It doesn't matter if support resistance lines are the greatest concept ever. 
if you follow a system that does a certain thing every time it happens, you will know if that support and resistance strategy works or not. You can use, uh, there are thousands of different strategies out there. Learning all these tools and becoming the best technical analyst imaginable isn't going to make a good trader. I've met so many people who have the best chart markups you'd ever see. They spot unbelievable Fibonacci pullbacks. They spot beautiful chart patterns, candlestick patterns. They're unbelievable. They're artists with the charts. They're beautiful with it. They couldn't make a damn cent trading. They lose every time they have. They blow every penny they have. Best technical analyst you'll ever see. That's not the answer. The answer lies within you lies within your discipline and your system and being able to do them. Yes, journaling is important. Yes, having a trading plan and a routine and the trading the right pairs, the right times, that's all important, extremely important. That's why I teach it all. However, the core, the core concepts, the most important things you want to focus on with trading is systematic approach, having discipline to follow it. And the number one on top of all of that, that fits in perfectly with that is strong risk management, right? You have to be systematic, you have to be disciplined, you have to use the same risk management approach consistently. This is systematic discipline. Risk management needs to be systematic, needs to be disciplined. You need to use the same risk parameter for every single trade you ever take. Risk the same amount to gain the same amount. Yes, you can have things in your system that allow trades to run longer and maybe you'll have different size winners. Yes, you're gonna have different pip loss amounts because every different pair has different pip ratios. Yes, definitely. But the core concepts of your risk management needs to be systematic and you do the same thing every single time. It needs to be disciplined. You need to follow that system every single time. You need to risk one, two, 3% per every single trade, no matter what. You mess up that one time and you put 10% risk out there because it's the best setup ever and it loses, guess what? You're gonna spend the next six months trying to make back the losses from that one trade, right? So you need to have your risk parameters that need to be structured, systematic, disciplined. Your trading plan needs to be structured, systematic, disciplined. You need to have a plan. You have to have a plan. You can't go into the markets without. You can't open up a restaurant not knowing what your potential profit's gonna be, what your overhead's gonna cost, what your rent's gonna be, what you're paying your payroll out, what your insurance liability expenses are gonna be, and not know what your income coming in is gonna be, what your profit dollars off of a beer and a sandwich are. You can't do that. Your restaurant's going to fail. That's why 8 out of 10 restaurants fail. That's the same thing with trading. If you don't have a plan, if you're not systematic, if you're not disciplined, if you don't follow risk management properly, don't trade. It's not for everyone. It is not for everyone. I've met countless traders that try and try and try and try and try to ultimately find out. It's just not for them. And that is okay. Not everything in this world is for everyone. Not every indicator is going to be good for you. Not every technical analysis tool is going to be good for you. Not every trading style is going to be good for you. A swing trader and a intraday five-minute chart scalper are different people. They have totally different ways they live their lives. Patience, um, discipline, uh, mainly, mainly going to be patience, but patience, discipline, risk appetite, all this stuff changes with different things. So there is no golden system. There's no golden ratio. There is no, oh my God, I'm master technical analysis. I'm the best trader ever. You need to have a system. You need to be systematic. You need to be disciplined. You need to have risk management in place, followed systematically. Right, guys? This is what you need to focus on. If you guys need any help focusing on this stuff, please reach out. This is what I do every day. I help traders find the path to, to success. I help them find what matters. Find what kind of trader they are, what matters in their life and what they can do to translate that into what style of trader they are. That's what I do, guys. I help people with their trading. I help people find this stuff out. So if you need help with this, please reach out to me, right? That is um, really the bulk of what I wanted to go over with you guys. I don't want to rant for too long, but I really, really want you guys to focus in and understand the most important aspects of trading and the only things that are going to matter with your success or not. And it's going to be systematic, disciplined, risk management. I don't give a shit how well you are identifying support resistance. I don't care how good of an Elliott Wave analyst you are. You could have read the Elliott Wave book 30 times, um, be the best Elliott Wave analyst on the Western Hemisphere. Guess what? That doesn't mean shit when it comes to trading. Just because you can, you know, show somebody how to take a good picture doesn't mean you're going to be able to go out there and do it, right? Just because you can 
talk to somebody all day long about the greatest boxing strategy, right? The greatest stance, the greatest fucking combos, right? Just because you can tell somebody that doesn't mean you're not going to go in the ring and get knocked the fuck out. Excuse my language. But that's just, that's just the way it is. You need to realistically approach trading and approach the right ways, the right things, the right stuff. You need to approach developing a system, testing it, figuring out what works, what doesn't work, build it around you and only you, no matter what anybody else tells you, you need to build your trading around you. You're the one trading, you're the one placing the trades, you're the one making the bets, you're the ones risking the money, you're the ones making the profits. So you need to trade the way you feel comfortable trading, develop that system, be disciplined enough to follow it and have risk management that allows that system to succeed. That's trading. I've seen guys that are awful technical analysts when it comes to charting. They know what support resistance lines, yeah. They know trend lines, yeah. They know what a trend is. They know what moving averages are, okay. But they develop a system that they watch and look for, that they do the same thing every time, and they see if it works, and it works, and they make a lot of money. And over time, their system will have to adapt because the markets will adapt, which is why we journal and pay attention to how we trade. And this system will stop working in certain aspects. They'll tweak it, and then they'll start working again. And that's what you do. You develop a system, you follow it, you tweak it, you follow it, you tweak it, you follow it, you tweak it. And that's the life of trading. If that sounds too boring to you, and it's not just finding a pair and dropping 10 lots, and yay, I made a fucking payday, or I'm going home crying, um, this isn't for you. Go play roulette at a casino once a month and blow all your earnings. Um, but trading is for serious, systematic, disciplined, risk, appetite, strong-minded, willpower people. And if that's not you, that's perfectly fine. There's a million other professions out there that you can succeed at. All right, guys. So hopefully that uh, didn't bore you too much. And hopefully that got a lot of strong points across because that is what this was about. I want you guys to focus on what matters, what's important. I get questions all the time about this analyst, that analyst, that tool, this tool, that tool. Um, this is what matters. So, yes, I want you to learn the fundamental analysis of technicals. I want you to learn what matters. Learn these levels. Learn these zones. Learn these tools. But this is what you need to focus on right here. Risk management and building a system and being disciplined. You can spend three weeks and learn all you need to learn about technical analysis. You can't. I'm not even kidding. I could teach somebody in a week what they need to know about reading a chart. But going and putting it into action... Being able to have the discipline to follow a system, building a system, having the patience to write it down, put it down, test it, work it, go through it. That's what nobody can do. That's why this business has such high turnover and such low success rate. All right, guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate it very, very much. Please throw a like if you like this video. Please subscribe to the page. You'll be notified every time I upload a video tomorrow. I got a new video dropping on the weekly market update. I go over everything going on in the Forex markets, full breakdown, technical analysis, fundamental analysis. What happened this week? What's going on next week? Don't miss it. Tune into it. Throw a comment below if you like this video. Any feedback you have. Um, to keep these videos flowing for you guys, I really need to get some feedback. really need to get some follows, some likes, some, some hearts, some shares, some subscribes. Um, I enjoy all of it, guys. Thank you very much. I hope this, this was important for you guys. I hope you really got the message that I'm trying to get across. And I hope it helps you with your trading. That's what the point of all this is for. All right, guys. Love you all. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day, evening, night, morning, whatever you guys are doing. Catch you in the next one.